Hey guys, what's up? It's Ariel Saber Revelo with RetiringToGetRich.com. What I'm going to share today in this video is probably the most controversial thing you will hear today. Retiring wealthy and young in your 20s without being a millionaire yet. Why it is inefficient to follow the advice of the generation of our parents. Retirement. What is retirement? Do we have any idea what retirement is? We have retirement plans, a pension plan, but what are we actually working for? We have to define this first. What is retirement? Retirement is when you are financially wealthy enough to maintain your current standard of living without the depending on a wage or salary from someone else. What is the traditional progression to retirement? So what is this traditional progression to retirement? First, we go to school and get educated there. We go to college or university. Usually we have student loans. Then we go to work, attempt to save money, a lot of it, and then first get rich before we retire at 65. Who knows? Let's talk about the traditional school system. In all reality, the traditional school system is a government or privately run daycare system so parents can go to work. And when the parents are working, taxes get paid. The taxes paid are greater than the expenses to run the school system. And the traditional school system teaches nothing about the real world of business and money. After going into our traditional school, students typically go into college and university. Here's reality. Student loan debt is the second largest debt after mortgage debt according to the International Business Times in 2013. And more than 15% of all people are still paying student loans at the age of 50. This is probably United States statistics, but still, it's alarming. Senior citizens owe over $36 billion in student loans. It may cause delay in achieving life's milestones. So student loans traditionally are considered an investment in a good future. However, these statistics do not lie. Here's the kicker. Student debt is not dischargeable on bankruptcy. Go to work. That's the other traditional advice that people get. Why is going to work inefficient? In traditional employment, you are taxed at the highest marginal tax rate and you do not get much tax deductions. In Canada, probably the only tax deduction of going to work is your RRSP and your transit passes. He raises we do not catch up with inflation. 3% pay raise with 4% inflation. That does not cut it. So actually you are having a pay decrease every single day. And traditionally, employers have retirement pensions that are payable after 40 years. I don't know with you, but 40 years is actually a very long time. And lots of people work at jobs they dislike just to pay the bills. So this is the other traditional advice. You will have to save money, a lot of it, and get rich first before you are able to retire. But here's the caveat. Low savings rates. Banks nowadays only offer 1% on savings accounts and 2% on GICs. How does that make your money work hard? It doesn't. You hardly see your money grow. The thing here is you're focusing on working hard to save hard, but the challenge with working hard is you pay a lot of tax. And when you save hard, you're not even getting ahead because your money isn't even working hard for you. It takes a long, long time before you get rich first in order to retire. The big question is, if this is what is being taught, how many people actually do get rich after 40 years of working? Try to retire at 65 or maybe 67 or 70. If you retire old, how will your health be and your physical condition? You will not have the same vitality as you had when you were young. And what about your passions? If you did not have a good work-life balance or blend, your passions will not be there anymore. You will not enjoy your retirement as much. And here's the truth. Most people, when they retire, they have no idea what to do with newfound time. The next portion is taken from Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad's Cash Flow Quadrant. This is you have to understand where you are right now and where you want to be and what you are going to focus on. So let's talk about these cash flow quadrants. In the world of business and money, there are four categories of people. E stands for employee. Employees have a job and they work hard for their money. S stands for self-employed. Self-employed or specialists, they own a job and they still work hard for their money. B is for business owner. Business owners, they create jobs and they leverage other people's time. I means investor. They make money work hard for them and they leverage other people's money. Take note of the term, leverage. So leverage is the art of doing more with less. So there's two sides of the cash flow quadrant. On the right side, we have the wealthy and the rich. and the left side, we have the poor and middle class. Our target is to become part of the wealthy so that we are able to retire and not have to worry 
about when our next salary will come or if we have to work hard for our next salary. Even if we do not work, we should have some cash flow coming in. And that's the secret of the wealthy. So what's the difference between wealthy and rich? The wealthy, if you are wealthy, you can answer this question. How long could you survive financially without a wage from a job? If you are rich, this is when you have the million dollars in the bank. What is retirement in the first place? Retirement is when you are financially wealthy enough to maintain your current standard of living without depending on a wage or salary from someone else. So traditionally, people try to achieve retirement by the way of savings. However, there is a faster and more efficient way to achieve retirement, which is through having a passive income. Let's talk about a few passive income sources. Number one would be a business, a business that can operate and run without you. This differs from self-employed where if, if you are are only purely self-employed you will not have passive income because you still have to work for that money real estate rentals real estate rentals is when you buy real estate you rent them out cash flow from that would be passive income the other one would be royalties so it's from your brand or merchandise sales of books or music so these are passive income sources what the premise of passive income is it is any income that continues even if you do not work so the objective is to create passive income so that you do not have to worry about saving a lot of money that will take a long time so if you create passive income, that is the way for you to be able to retire young and retire wealthy. Retire young, retire wealthy, so you have all the time in the world to get rich. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Visit www.retireyoungtogetrich.com to find out how my wife and I went from broke to semi-retired before age 30. And for more tips and videos that may help you achieve your financial freedom. Thanks for watching.